Rusty pipes. They're hundreds of years old, installed way back when Venice was an industrial area. See? I know some local history. The Fringe Cafe, my home away from home. I really don't mind working there. It's a nice place. I mean, it ranks nice on a scale from begging for food at the bottom to just scraping by at the top. I do not intend to make a career of it. It amazes me why backpackers flock to Newport. You'd think they'd have the good sense to stick to India, Australia, and the near-Earth colonies. I think people should have the good sense to do that kind of stuff behind closed doors. At least as long as I don't have a boyfriend. I don't think I've ever seen anybody pass through that door. Isn't that peculiar? And if I was Nancy Drew, I might actually care. a glass of white wine or a cup of steaming mocha. Complimentary candy for paying customers only. Stan has a habit of taking it out of your salary if you, um, get the munchies. That's my good friend Charlie. He was the first person I met when I came to Venice, and I love him dearly. As a friend. I'm sure Stan won't notice if I dig gently into his supply. He's got crates of these in the back. Hi, Charlie. April. Nice to see you, girl. You know, I came to wake you this morning, but you had already left. Early bird catches the worm. No, early bird finishes the damn painting on time. <laughs> have you seen Cortez around? As a matter of fact, I have. And he was asking for you. He asked about me? Yeah, where you were. He had a message for you. I told him to give it to Emma, that she would be more likely to bump into you. I got it, but I have no idea what it means. Cortez can be a little strange. Do you know where he was going? No, but he seemed interested in that poster next to the jukebox. They put it up earlier today. Do you have any idea where kids would be able to, um, visualize their dreams? Maybe in therapy? I don't think that's it, Charlie. Then I don't know. Thanks. Anytime, April. How's work going today? Aside from the trouble with the plumbing, everything's been peaceful. Emma's here with Marcus and Isabel. Other than that, I mean, it's been a quiet morning. Everyone must be home out of the sun, yeah? Or on holiday. Perfect time for it, too. The city's just boiling in July, and it gets even hotter in August. You should have stayed out in the country until the autumn, girl. It's cooler out there, yeah? Yeah, the summers were cooler back home. Uh, I remember my home. It got so hot sometimes. My father worked as a volunteer fireman, and sometimes he'd borrow the old truck from the garage. He'd fill it with spring water from the river up in the hills, and then he would hose me and my sisters down with ice-cold water. We'd laugh and scream and run around, and the funny thing is, his eyes would light up, and he'd be so proud of himself. He could be so good. And he could be so bad. On those days, I loved him so much. They were the good days. You doing anything special tonight? Working. I should really be at rehearsal, but I need the money. I'm going home for a week before school starts in September. 
Right, you told me. Well, that's great. It's been years since your last trip home, right? Yeah, right. You remember well, girl. Four years. My father and I, well, we haven't been on good terms since I left. I know how that feels. Isn't it such a cliche, though? I don't look forward to seeing him again, but it will be nice to be back with the rest of the family. Especially my sisters, you know, and my mom. Mind if I ask you a few questions, Charlie? Why would I mind, girl? What's your take on Cortez? Why do you want to talk about Cortez? I don't know him that well. He's been around for as long as I can remember. But I really never talked to the man. Do you think he's as crazy as some people say? No, he's not crazy. Just a little eccentric. He doesn't give a donkey's ass what people think or say about him. And that's cool. I don't know. I have a feeling there's a lot more to Cortez than what he wants us to believe. That man has had an eventful life, I'm sure. What was it about me that made you want to be my friend, Charlie? Everything, girl. You're a sweet peach. <laughs> no, it's true. I liked you from the very beginning. When you first came into the cafe with a suitcase in each hand, lost and bewildered. God, thanks for reminding me. I was such a country bumpkin. No, everyone who comes to Venice looks like that, girl. This is the village of the damned, don't you know? <laughs> How long have you known Emma? I met Emma about a year ago when she started studying at Vava. She moved into the room just opposite mine, and we became friends almost immediately. I like her a lot, and the two of you are the best friends I've ever had. Thanks, Charlie. The same goes for me. Did you ever tell Emma that? Yeah, I told her, and she jokes about it. That's just Emma. I know she appreciates me telling her, though. Does Emma's behavior ever worry you? She can seem a little out of control from time to time, but she's smarter than people give her credit for. I think she's able to take good care of herself. She's a brilliant artist. Her sculptures are inventive and beautiful. I know. Sometimes I'm in awe. They just don't seem to match her personality. She's a deep person, but she hides it well. She's more comfortable being a ditzy teenager than a professional artist. But around the two of us, sometimes she lets the disguise drop. I love her when she does that. Do you like living in Venice? I love Venice. I've been here three years now, and I haven't grown tired of it yet. I don't know if I ever will. Venice is like a college campus. There are so many young people here from all over the world. And the mix of nationalities and ideologies and ethnicities is refreshing and inspiring. The fact that we're also right in the middle of one of the great cities on Earth is just a bonus. Call Newport whatever you want. At least it's alive. And there's always something going on. Yeah, Venice is my kind of place. And I'm not planning on leaving anytime soon. At least not as long as all my friends are living here. What about you, Charlie? What about me? Yeah? When was the last time you talked about yourself? I don't talk about myself, girl. You know that. Still, I'd like to talk about you for a bit. If you want. Just in general, or is there anything in particular you want to know? What's your biggest dream? A dark stage, a packed auditorium, and a single spotlight. Dancing, girl, don't you know? I'm a good dancer, but I need to be among the best to make it out in the real world. So I'll keep studying and I'll keep working as a waiter to support my studies, just like you. How did you end up in Venice? At home, there wasn't much professional training available for dancers. And my father, he was not happy about my choice of career. He wanted me to work in the factories like him and his father. Out here in Venice, everyone's got their own dreams. 
and people are supportive of each other no matter how crazy those dreams might be. Your dream isn't crazy at all, Charlie. You're already halfway there. But I still have a long way to go. You're right, girl. I can make it if I work hard enough. So can you. Because we're both just so damn talented. <laughs> Are you happy working here at the cafe? We make decent money, if that's what you mean. I don't want to be a bartender for the rest of my life, obviously. But yeah, I'm happy I have a job. And you work here too, so I get to hang out with my friend, right? If it wasn't for that, I don't know if I'd be able to do it. Hard work and lousy pay. The hours are flexible, and like you said, I get to hang out with you and my other friends. That's all I wanted to know, Charlie. Okay. Anything else that comes to mind about Cortez? What else? I don't know what to tell you, girl. When he's not talking about books, he talks about old movies. He loves the classics, calls them real art. Thanks, Charlie. I have to get going, Charlie. Take care, all right? Remember, you're supposed to get paid today. Stan's not gonna remember unless you bug him about it. When she's not working, we're out on a date. Emma's always hanging out here. Just like me, really. Just like all of us. Fresh bread. Love the food in this place. We have a great kitchen. That's my, well, Emma's friend, really. Marcus. He's a VAVA student as well. Tom's Follies. It's a jukebox, according to Stan. It's an original. Almost 200 years old. I don't know. That looks like a replica to me. A good replica, but still. <clears throat> Roma Gallery presents Growing Pains. An exhibition by and for kids and teenagers. <clears throat> this be what Cortez was talking about? Where kids visualize their dreams? I think this may be it. Where's the Roma Gallery located? It's a poster ad for an exhibition called Growing Pains at the Roma Gallery. Complimentary student pass. Cool. I like anything that's complimentary. I never say no to a complimentary ticket. My boss, Stan. A hard man with a soft... Nah. He's just a callous bastard. I heard that. Uh, I knew that. What you doing here? I... You ain't working this afternoon, are you? I don't want my employees work 24 hours a day. Go, get sleep. But I'm just... Damn, woman, do I have to babysit you? It's nice to see you too, Stan. No, I'm not working today. I just came by to... Oh, don't ever say those two words when I'm around. I don't think my ulcer can take it. You? And nice? That's funny. No, working and not. Don't use those two words in the same sentence. Damn, I get creeps even when I say them. <clears throat> I thought you'd be ecstatic to have people work 24-hour shifts. Oh, don't get me wrong, sweetheart. There's nothing I'd want more, but you see, for some weird reason, it is illegal to make people work that long. What a downer. Yeah, I'd make you guys work Triple shifts if I could. Nah, I don't think you would. I think you're a real angel at heart, Stanley. You're just afraid people will find out. Yeah, yeah, 
I'm a real goddamn sweetheart. Go on, take advantage of my kindness while I'm still out of my head. I'd like to get paid. Damn woman, don't you know I got a migraine already? Paid? God damn it. Why'd they have to make that word sound so obscene? Listen, why don't you leave old Stan alone, huh? You make me feel a whole hell of a lot better. Choo, choo, be good, little girl, hmm? I'd still like to get paid, though. Mighty man, I hope. You really know how to rub it in. God damn it. Yeah, all right. Got your time sheet? Yes? 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 Let's see it. God damn, you think I'm gonna take your word for a woman? Here you are, my timesheet. Don't say that word too loud, sweetheart. You're killing me. See? What is this? Huh? No, 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 no. Did I sign this? What I thinking? So? At least it doesn't look like it's been forged. Thanks. Thanks? Where's my money? Oh, you ain't getting it now. Next week, honey. I write down this amount in my ledger. Don't you worry your head for me. I need the money now, Stanley. Yeah, yeah, we all need money now. That ain't gonna happen. Next week, I tell you. You're quitting? You can't quit. You work for me. Nobody quits this job, honey. I can quit. And I'm quitting. I quit. Damn, woman. You know how hard it is to find people to take a crappy job like this one? I need you. Just as much as you need the money? All right. Jesus, I give you your damn money. What was it? Fifty bucks? Three hundred and seventy-five dollars, Stanley. Cash. Oh, sure. Cash. Three hundred... Are you sure? I pay you guys way too much. All right, give me your CC. Thank you, Stanley. Fine, sure. Whatever. Hey! Just, I mean it. You free tonight? Wanna pull a shift? Sandra, she out sick and I need a replacement pronto. How about it? Yeah, I need the money. Great, hon. I'll see you here later. Don't forget. The address, the gallery is located near the Watertown Bridge. It's all the way over in West Venice, if I remember correctly. I'm gonna have to catch the Metro Line subway to get there. this one for us, April. When did Roin Dale release Sidetracked? 04, right after the Morning Star exile, those sons of bitches. With blood on their boots, yeah. <laughs> Told you so, Marcus. You said 03. I was closer than you, 07, and you call yourself a fan. I don't. Did you speak with Zach today? Why? He was upset. Called you a stuck-up bitch. He what? You 
gotta be kidding me. I wasn't even that rude to him. You think so? So that even if you came crawling to his door, he wouldn't give you the time of day. Said you called him an asshole. Oh, God. I really don't know when to shut my mouth, do I? Who cares? It's Zack. He hates you, so what? No great loss. That's true. So, what else is going on? What are you doing this afternoon? Actually, I came by to see if I could find Cortez. What's with you and this guy? You'd rather spend time with him than us? I have to find out what the message means. Don't look at me. I don't know anything except what I already told you. Ask Charlie. He spoke with Cortez earlier. What are you doing? Staying here. What else? I'm meeting a friend later, but that's not until 9. We're waiting for Isabel and then we're gonna eat. But I guess you're not hungry. No. Figures. I don't know why I even bother asking. Who's this friend you're meeting later? Don't tell me it's that guy you were out with last night. Are you gonna tell me I shouldn't get involved with men like him? No, no, of course not. I'm not your... You don't need me to tell you that, Emma. Well, I wish you would, because you're right. I shouldn't, he's a bastard. But he's so cute and charming and, you know, very good in bed. I, I just can't help myself. But he's not a keeper, don't worry about that. It's just this thing, just a fling. Mind if I ask you some questions, Emma? Like I don't tell you everything that's going on anyway? Of course you can ask me questions. Like, duh. What's your, uh, take on Cortez? My take on Cortez? What's that, like a diplomatic way of saying what the F is this guy's glitch? Sure. Let's go with that one. You know, I think Cortez is a barrel of laughs. In a good way. Everybody thinks they got him all figured out, you know? Like he's the resident weirdo. But I know that just ain't true. I've talked with Cortez, and the guy is brilliant. He's weird, yeah, and he's up in the clouds, and I think he believes in aliens, which is cool, but girl, he's smart. I mean, I'm not talking professor smart here. I'm talking real life, seen it all, been there, done that, smart. Useful smart. Experienced smart. And I, think, I gotta tell you, the guy's cultured. Ask him about anything, art, music, movies, books. He's current on most topics, which scares me because it seems he's always just, I don't know, hanging around doing nothing. He rarely goes anywhere. And it's like he's waiting for something or someone. Yeah, maybe Jerry Garcia. <laughs> You're bad. No, I don't think he's a doper. I listen to the guy. What he says may sound a little out there, but the way he says it, no, he's not on Amethyn, that's for sure. And one more thing, he is cute. He's what? Cute. Emma, he's like 60. Did you ever see his eyes? Those are not the eyes of an old man. And so what if he's 60? He's better looking than most of the guys I date and so much nicer. Then I think you've been swimming in the shallow end of the gene pool for too long, Emma. I mean, come on, a 60-year-old screwball with a ponytail and an exotic accent? Hello? <sighs> well, we'll see. Did you speak with Charlie today? Yeah, for a few minutes. Why? Nothing. Just wondered is all. Uh, April, did he say anything to you at all? About what? About... Mm, nothing. I mean, I don't know anything. Which isn't true because I, I don't lie, but he... Ugh, forget it. If we were having this conversation in a movie, I'd be going, like... Shit, girl, get your act together, open your eyes! But I don't think that's a good idea. Not in real life. Because real life has a nasty habit of hurting people's feelings. Did you finish your sculpture for the exhibit? Pretty much. I'm happy with it, and I know that if I go back and keep working on it, I'll just kill it. I think I'll leave it alone. You? You know what? Don't ask. I'm praying it'll finish itself one of these days. Sure. Could happen. It could so happen. But I wouldn't count on it. <sighs> I'll have it ready in time.
Yes, you will, or I'll kick your ass so hard that you'll... Okay, I got it, I got it. Thanks for the inspiration. Thanks, Emma. Thanks for what? For talking to you? Girlfriend, what the hell is the matter with you? Snap out of it. I gotta run. See you around, stranger. The Cotton Queen. Those guys are in trouble. Don't they know that skateboarding is strictly prohibited in Newport? It's a loaf of freshly baked bread from the cafe. Blank? The grill is almost completely submerged in that, and I use this term quite liberally, liquid. I know that duck. Bon voyage, ducky! It's a rubber ducky. It looks disturbingly familiar. But how the heck did it get all the way over here? It's a band-aid. How did that 
get there? Last I remember, the seagull had pecked a hole in the duck. Weird. The duck's deflated. <laughs>